movie's about to start. Bye, man. Welcome, I'm Caitlin from the Travel Channel, and today's special is on Luxembourg, a modern fairy tale. The history of Luxembourg is quite complex. It became a Grand Duchy in 1815. Luxembourg's government type is a constitutional monarchy. Speaking of kings and queens, it seems that I have an interview with Prince Felix. Can you hear me? Prince Felix, can you hear me? I have heard that this is the richest country in the world. Is this true? Für meine Eltern auch, die ich nur gerade am Telefon hatten, für ihn noch zu erklären, wie der Klassement war. Ah, aha, I see. Um, I don't really speak that very well Luxembourgish, but I'll take that as a yes. Also, I've heard that it's worth 13 billion and 74 dollars or Euro in your country. And uh, it was just super. And uh, we can be really stolz. No, 50 years, no, my Charlie Gaulle. That's little boy, three little boy, on podium, stand. Can it be better? Yes. Just one more question. Are you single? Hello? Hello? Prince Felix? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get his number later. Another thing is that Luxembourg is known for their traditional dishes. They have wonderful variety of food. They also have McDonald's, just like us. What? Oh, okay. We have an interview from another person. Oh! Uh, interns. Fire him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jerry Brines, and he is going to be showing us what he usually eats in his country of Luxembourg. Um, is that hot sauce? Is that a McDouble? Um, I, I don't remember reading anything about this in Luxembourg. Who, who picked this guy to be interviewed? I'm just the TV hostess, you know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Disgusting, isn't it? Well, not all people in Luxembourg are nasty. 
Luxembourg also has very extravagant holidays. Luxembourg's national holiday is the birthday of Grand Duchess Charlotte on June 23rd. They also celebrate many other things such as the Grape Festival or other known as the Wine Festival. We have some people going through the vineyards right now. Can we, can we show that? Okay, thank you. We celebrated our 320th anniversary this year. We produce several grape types, starting with Elbling, the Rivena, and the common wine types that are, we have are Auxois, Pinot Blanc, Pinot Gris, Riesling, Chardonnay, Gewürztraminer, and Pinot Noir for the red wine. Although the cold weather is moving in in Luxembourg, some wine producers are still harvesting grapes. Late harvesting is, in general, a particularity for good wines. In the heart of the Schengen Hills, Mr. Henry Rupert, the owner of a vineyard, shares his experience with us. The harvesting period is the crucial moment in the year, because that is when everything plays out. We have to see the grape level of maturity. It is very important for the quality, so if we don't have it, what the grape doesn't have in naturally, we can't add in the cellar. Well, that's all for now. I'm Caitlin Edwards, and this is Luxembourg, a modern fairy tale. Oh my gosh, that video was awesome!